Oh, we can do better than that. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Listen, if you are here for the first time, that is wonderful. But if you are here for the next time, you understand how big of a deal this is. <laughs> I am so happy to see all of your wonderful faces. My name is B Free, and I am a singer, artist, musician here in the city of Milwaukee. But I'm also a music education coordinator here at Radio Milwaukee for this great program we have called Grace Weber's Music Lab. Give it up, give it up, give it up. <laughs> this is a very special session for us because not only is it our closeout session for season five, but this is also our very first in-person session that we are having since 2020. So please give it up for that as well. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be giving it up a lot. Get, get used to it. Get the applause ready, okay? <laughs> So if this is your first time, I always like to give everybody a nice precedence of what this program is about, especially if you've never been here before. Um, this is our closeout session, but it's a great thing to tap into because we're gonna be coming back in the beginning of the school year, fresh for everybody. So once a month, we have this program here and it is primarily put together to teach our local youth about the music industry. So if that includes them learning from singers, rappers, Bands, musicians, music managers, anything you could think of, folks who work in all different capacities within the industry come, demonstrate their art, and answer questions that anybody might have about how they got there from that point, how they can do something like that similar, and anything you might wanna know. And we also like to hold space for our young people to get on this stage and showcase their art as well with the open mic portion that we have. Now, a lot of folks didn't catch my last video, but this is a very special stage. Do you know who touched this stage? Lizzo has been on this stage, y'all. All right, L I to the ZZ, okay? Tank and the Bangers have been on this stage. Y'all will eventually be on this stage, okay? That is a big deal. So definitely wanna make sure we keep that spirit going. And we're gonna be going throughout the evening and throughout the next school year with anybody who is a teenager. So anybody who's 13 through 18, that's our primary audience that we're always gonna be catering to. Now, if for some reason you're not here or don't wanna be here with us or can't be, uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep our hybrid going because we're gonna be live streaming through Facebook as we're doing right now. Everybody look over there and say, hey. <laughs> Nobody online can see, he's one say hi to the sound guy. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so everybody can get a piece of this. Now, if you wanna learn more about what we have going on, the primary thing to do, if you're especially if you're at home watching, make sure you visit our website, which is gwmusiclab.com, or you can visit our Instagram and Facebook pages, at GW Music Lab. Wanna give a special shout out to our wonderful sponsors, because they're the reason we keep the lights on and the virtual stuff, all right? Which includes Anthony's Ralph Evanrood Foundation, and of course, our lovely folks at 88.9 Radio Milwaukee. I also wanna give a very, very special shout out to Music Go Round in Greenfield, who has just signed on to be our sponsors for the 2022-23 school year. And with that, they have donated this lovely piano, eh? <laughs> Take a gander. Very nice stuff going on, okay? So, hopefully you like what you hear tonight, and I'm sure you will with this special act that we have coming up. For authoritarian figures, the notion of, oh wait, before we get into that. We have a giveaway, guys. I know you guys came in and you got some tickets. So make sure that you have that dropped in the raffle box because at the end of the lab, we're gonna be pulling names from it. So if you put your name in there, we have some special prizes, which include this apparel that I have, another surprise that I have over there on my table, and of course, the four pack for the Summerfest ticket giveaway. So make sure you got that. All right, now back to what I was saying. Lo and who's behind me here. For authoritarian figures, the notion of no seat belts sends out belts of politically correct alarms. I'll read very dramatically. I'm a teacher. Uh, but for this band, whose motto is no limits, no boundaries, no seatbelts, it's a proclamation of independence. The unexpected name sprouted from the idea of living limitlessly and fearlessly through music. This band is a collaborative effort of five musicians who all have thriving careers here in the city and beyond the Midwest, and they create a special sound of funk Using. You guys, please give it up one time for Milwaukee Zone, no seatbelts. Hi, guys. Yep.
give one more rousing round of applause for these guys. No seatbelts. Clearly, the seatbelts were never on to begin with. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I want to make sure that everybody in our in-person and our virtual audience knows who exactly they are speaking to. Who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you say you are, okay? So I'm going to introduce each member of the band, starting with our lovely lead singer, who I want you guys to tell them your name as well as your high school alma mater, if you can. Ooh. Yeah, we can. You we know I'm excited down. for that one. Oh. Um, my name is Kendall J, and I went to high school with y'all. And who's that young man over there on the keys? <laughs> Woo! And this gentleman back here on these uh these things you pound. Uh, my name is DC, and I went to high school with RC. Woo! I, okay. Young right. man with the bass, please tell me who you are. Calvin Turner with the Bradley Tech. All right. Woo! We always got somebody in the house. All right. And last but not least. I'm Justin Wilson, and I went to high school at RCVR. Woo! Now, it is never my intent to be completely biased, <laughs> um, but I also am a Milwaukee High School VS graduate as well. But I welcome any and all facets of high school life here because music is a universal love. Can I say that right? Yeah. All right, no matter if you went to school for it or not, we are all here for that purpose. So we're gonna move into the interview portion, and I want to just preface this by saying, the purpose of these questions is to give everybody a general knowledge base on what it is that they do. So if you guys out there have any questions at all, raise your hand, and we'll make sure that we get them answered. I'll repeat it on the mic, and we can make sure we can keep that flowing, okay? So it's a completely open space, Anything you guys want to know about them. Hey, Kim. <laughs> all right, so the first question we normally ask all of our music lab guests is put yourself in the mindset of our primary audience. You are now 14 and 15 years old. What were you doing at that time? <laughs> what, were you, what were you doing, especially if it had anything to do with developing the, the demonstration you just showed for us today? And, and this question is open to everybody in the band who'd like to answer, but you're not obligated I, to. <laughs> I go, I go. 14 to 15, um, I was an awkward kid, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I was an emo kid with a bang, <laughs> trying to find myself. Not the bang. Not, not the bang, <laughs> the black nails, everything black. Um, but I also still listen to Beyonce, so it threw hey. me, you know, it was like levels. <laughs> Well, I was universe. trying to figure out how to be an artist, but also a kid who was into like rock and pop, but also into like Beyonce. But then also I was being trained classically mm -hmm. in middle school and high school. So that was a weird combination for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I was just trying to find myself through music. Uh, it was, it was weird. I was, and I hate the word weird. I love it, but I hate it. Mm -hmm. It was, it was strange. It was a strange time for me. Um, but that. You embrace that word. The whole I, I, show I embrace it, but also I'm like, that's a lazy word. I feel you. What other word can I use other than weird? Ooh, Period. unorthodox. The unortho of the doxa. Yes, we're I gonna love use it. it. <laughs> I was living, and I was, I was extravagant. I was, I was. Um, obnoxious. <laughs> I was a lot of things. So I didn't know how to box myself in to make myself appropriate to other places. So at that time, I was, I didn't know what I was, mm -hmm. but I know I ventured into a lot of things. And you knew that whatever it is, this was something that you had an outlet in. Like while yeah. you were on that path. Yeah. Music was out. like the one thing that I had, like you had your MP3 player, you had your headphones, mm -hmm. you had your time, you had your bus stop, you had your walks. I own those things and I took ownership over the, like taking a bus from school to yeah. home or whatever, that's where I really explored different types of music and then YouTube was a thing, mm -hmm. was a thing y'all, it came out around that time, Lord, that <laughs> it was new. So like I indulged in finding indie artists that way. I love it. Can you imagine something being new like that? Cause they were born Man. into this, like it's wild, right? Really wild. Man. Thank you. Yeah. 
So for the rest of you guys, were there any key experiences while you were at this age that you can attribute to making you know that this was something that you really found your calling in music? Anybody that likes to share? I'll give you the mic if you want. Yes. Thank you, B3. Um, so <laughs> around this age is uh, I was a freshman, uh, 14, 15, at uh, Milwaukee High School of the Arts. And I was the only kid there. Well, I've been playing since I was four, but I didn't actually play in church while I did go to church. Because every church we went to already had musicians, and they don't like giving up their spot, right? <laughs> so, yeah, even today, very much correct. So with that, I, um, in my mind, I, you know, I got around this group of musicians. That was the first time, besides my family, where you know everyone that I knew was a musician, and we all wanted to jam, and it just made me. Uh, I realized how much better everybody was than I was. So it's like, yeah, I think I need to practice to get better at this. And the more I practiced, the more I hung around these guys, it just made me um, realize, hey, I, I kind of like this music stuff. Because before I didn't really like playing piano. I was just more so I got to do it so my mama don't, you know bring out the switch on me or whatever. <laughs> got to practice. Well, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all got those parents. So, but now I was like, hey, I actually enjoy this stuff. So that was like, okay, I'm going to stick with this and we're going to make this work. I love it. So you literally became a product of your environment for the better because you guys sound amazing. Does this sound great? <laughs> now, I read a few sentences of your bio and it was kind of alluding to the different choices that you guys like to make in the genres that you dabble in, but you seem to have really found this really comfortable space in the jazz, funk, fusion realm of you, if you will. What is it about that particular sector of music that you feel that you guys enjoy the most for when you're creating? <laughs> well, <laughs> since I'm in front of the mic. <laughs> um, I think uh, we all have like different backgrounds in music. Um, we got a lot of church background, but also it's like different like types of church, so it's like Baptist, Kojic, like non-denominational, which the music changes with all that. Mm -hmm. But then on top of that, like like I said, I was classically trained into like rock pop. And then on top of that, we all, like a lot of us went to arts. So like when you go to arts, it's like jazz or classical. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when you are kind of, when you get put into these different like spots and like genres, and then you're like, okay, how do I make it all make sense where you just understand me in one song? That's us. I feel like we, we just put all of our thoughts, all of our like different type of tastes and whatever um, into how we interpret songs. Cause like a lot of times we take covers like that first song and we just make it our own, but not, not kind of forcefully. I know a lot of people like take the cover and they're like, this is a R&B cover, we wanna make it a, a soft pop like cover. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if you direct it too hard, sometimes you lose the, the character of the song you're, or like the essence of it. Yeah. So like if you just like listen to it and you just spit out whatever comes first, sometimes that's just like the natural um, response to the message or whatever. And I think that's what we, that's why we found that comfortable spot in, in what we do. And it seems to work well. I love it. And it seems like that kind of is the essence of what the benefits are with playing with a group versus like doing things on your own. Because I know you are a solo artist as well. Yeah. Um, but it seems like being able to be in this facet allows you to take those liberties and, and come together and, and be creative. Yeah. We've had a lot of bands come through here as well who've been youth and they've been kind of finding their musical way or some of them already have a strong idea of who they are musically. So I think it's really cool to see these different aspects of what that can look like. Uh, as a band, I'm curious, what are some common misconceptions that you think there are about thriving as an artist within this community, the Milwaukee music community? Because I don't think we talk about that enough. I feel like we have so many artists and they're great, but when we really get people who live here, yeah. you want to give them a good precedence of like people who are already experiencing like coming up in this environment. Yeah. So are there any things you can think of, or better yet, even if it's not a misconception, what's something that's important for navigating yourself through the Milwaukee music industry, you think? Um, and this can go for anybody who wants to answer. So 
Beyond me being a musician, I also am a stylist, and I am a, I work for a copyright magazine, hey, um, if you know what that is. Um, but what I find in each sector of creativity is the only way things moves, move is if you have um, some type of partnership. Mm -hmm. You have to, like, you have to move with other people. You can't be a single person mm -hmm. in this. Um, I know that as artists, sometimes we get a little selfish and we're like, I don't wanna, I don't, or you get shy or you, or you're like, I don't know how people are gonna take this new sound. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to think that this is the only sound I have. Mm -hmm. And then they sit on it and they never share it with anyone. Mm. Um, especially, I, know that, I know the name of that song. <laughs> listen, especially people who know, I, I was literally just having this conversation with another, um, artists mm -hmm. but people who know how to create their music from scratch right like producers you produce you write you sing you rap you do all this stuff you know how to make all the things but sometimes you make it to the point of you don't want to give it up mm. you know what I'm saying and we have to like in order for you to grow as an artist you have to allow other people to touch it which is scary not gonna lie but when you let other people critique and touch and react that helps you grow you know, yeah. because you get to see different perspectives of like, so that's what you see? Like I, I wrote, like for instance, the song Daydreaming, mm -hmm. which gets played on um, 89 all the time. And that song, when I wrote that was not what it is now. <laughs> that song was a low, low song. And if you, w you listen to the words, it's kind of depressing. It's like, oh, you can only see this person that you love in your dreams. <laughs> That sucks, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's you harsh. love that person, <laughs> <laughs> right? But people listen to it and get inspired, and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. And I, but I had to, I had to let that pain of that situation go in order for it to grow. Because even giving it to um, these guys to even like change it up was a lot for me. But now that I've allowed that to happen, it's become a song that everybody loves right yeah and you guys will get to hear a little bit of said song in just a few moments uh if you guys have any questions at all for them as we're going through this too just shoot your hand up and i'll make sure i catch you so i want to make sure we're offering that again now um i always like to also give people an idea of some important steps you know like what were some of the things that you think if, if i'm if i'm i'm 14 again <laughs> just picture me I'm 14, and I want to sing. I, maybe I want to sing with a band. Maybe I want to do my music. I'm not quite sure. Mm -hmm. What are some important like steps you think I can take to kind of start immersing myself into this sort of thing? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say learn your craft. Mm. Learn it from every angle that's possible, too. Don't just learn it because you want to learn it. Learn it because music really touches a lot of people, whether you know it or not. And you never know what you putting out there was going to do to anybody's ears who touch, who hears it or whatever. So my thing is make sure you learn your craft from all angles, from all angles. See, yo, and actually, please take this advice to heart. Everything that you're hearing them up here saying, they're not just spilling it off the top of their dome. It's because they are experiencing it or have experienced it, okay? And as somebody who's been in the Milwaukee music, music scene for a long time, I can attest that these things are true, okay? One of the other things I personally want to add is things like this. Like this, you have, you're surrounded by a whole bunch of people that have the same aspiration as you to learn more about music right so anytime you have an opportunity to come to stuff like this in the city that's what you want to be immersing yourself in i have a few folks in here who i know met each other through coming to events like this and this is by them hanging out with each other found out they actually wanted to collaborate with each other they had some dope music they made you know like you never know what kind of connections you're going to be making so networking is a huge plus in the city and just putting yourself in these immersive in collaborative spaces as often as you can. Yeah, for sure. Um, so beyond like networking with people, like just every, like the people that are on like your same level or like in the same spaces as you, you have to network. Cause like, I feel like people rely on social media a lot and that's cute. 
<laughs> but like everything else, like we said, I had an MP3 player. We had a MySpace at a time. What else did we have, y'all? We had a Black Planet. All that was <laughs> dick. It's going to die. <laughs> it always, things change. Mm-hmm. Things always change. But what always stays the same is in-person things. You know what I'm saying? It's like the the person to person interactions, and also understanding different ways of putting yourself out there other than social media. So social media is the easy outlet, but what other outlets are there? You know, mm. people still write newspapers. Very important, extremely important, because those last. People like you can still make a CD. You know what I'm saying? Those things, even if you don't play it. That's merch. That's something that people can see and feel and touch and understand you a little bit more. So, like, I work for Copyright Magazine. Everybody in here should pick my brain Mm -hmm. because we're always looking for new artists, and you guys are always looking to get your music out. Mm -hmm. It's like we need y'all just as much as you need us. Mm. Oh. So the question is, how do you get, and I'm only repeating, I'm repeating for the (laughs) folks who are watching for the live stream so they know what was asked. Uh, The question is, how do you guys get past nerves? Sure. Amen. Okay. You got it? I got it. (laughs) So I, uh, even to this day, I battle uh, pretty heavily with uh, performance anxiety, even though I've been playing for quite a while. Um, I play in church on Sundays as well. And I've played quite a few uh, different events as well, but still managed to, when it's time to sit down and time to play, uh, my mind tends to start to run a million miles a minute. And I'm like, well, what should I do here? What should I do there? Or I got my memory. I'm I'm in my 30s, y'all. So my memory and coffee, you know, I got to have my music on my phone. Otherwise, it's all sad. But what I would say is the biggest thing that I would suggest um, as far as dealing with that is just dealing with it. Um, You're either going to, all of us, you know, who take our craft or whatever seriously, we're going to get to a point to where we're going to be sitting here or standing there. And you can either let whatever is in here keep you there or let whatever is in in here on the other side of that help you to sit down or stay there to be able to get what you, to help you to get out what you want to get out. Um, Also, um, and this may go a little deep, um, sometimes different things that show up for us um, in our craft or in our sports, sometimes are things that we deal with internally. So what I learned was is using your voice outside of your music, speaking up for yourself in your everyday life, whether that means no, whether that means I don't want to, speaking up for yourself will have a level on you or reach you on a subconscious level to where not only will you start to speak up for yourself here, but it'll come out through here or whatever other, you know, I don't know what your gift or talent is, but all these things are kind of help you to get past that anxiety because I don't want to say it's solely here, but this plays a huge role in how we function and how we move. And even for me sitting down, that adrenaline starts going, that anxiety starts going. And sometimes it's you know, worse than others, but the only way to get past it is to get past it. There's no, you know, um, I would suggest even putting yourself out there more, playing more, letting other people around your- Coming and grace up his music lab more <laughs> often. <laughs> Uh, to get on this stage and work through those nerves in front of a welcoming audience, you say? I mean, because it, it, it's like anything else. The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll be. It may not be something that goes away. And mind you, these two I play with on a sun, every Sunday morning, and I still get nervous showing up. And I've been playing, Paul's playing with them for the last, you know, five, six, seven years every Sunday. Me and him went to high school together You know, so you would be like, oh, you would be comfortable around them. But, it, you know, when you are dealing with certain things, new crowds and different things, all that can get into your mind. So I say the best thing to sum it all up, put yourself out there. If you feel it, come on, take a deep breath, go for it. Use your voice, your actual voice outside of your talent, your gift. And that also will help you in turn to be more comfortable when you sit down. Because when I sit down, I'm still essentially using my voice in one 
way, shape, form, or fashion. I hope that answered your question. Sorry for digressing. Come on. All right. All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Hi, Calvin. Hey, how's it going? All right. Um, as far as nerves go, sometimes, um, especially like when you first start, you got you have to bump your head. Uh, that's the biggest thing. That's one thing that taught me is like when I first started playing, I practiced at home all every like every night. I didn't start playing until I was 16. So when I started playing, and then I turned like 18, people started calling me for gigs. I wasn't completely ready. I bumped my head a few times, and the thing that taught me. The thing I learned from bumping my head is like, all right, you did this wrong. Go home, practice it over and over and over again until you get it right until it becomes natural to you. Because you can sound good at home and get on stage and just let the anxiety, the nervousness get to you, get into your bones and skin and you just be like, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm like, just freeze up, whatever. And like, I played this at home a thousand times. I still can do it. And sometimes I still do it to this day. Um, and it's like certain certain stuff I can practice at home over and over and over again, get it right, get on stage, and then my brain just like get on stage, it's like, see you later. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so but that's the reason why it's good to practice. And then another thing I can tell y'all too, when y'all practice all like all the fun stuff is cool and everything, but practice slow. If you want if you wanna get if you wanna get it right for the show, practice slow. You know, turn your metronome to 40 BPMs and then practice that line and then get up to 120 going going up. That's the best way to learn how to absolutely to do it and then to do it cleanly as well, too, because you could do a run real fast or you could do it whatever. And it could just sound like trash, like complete trash that. But the, and you like, well, I did it. I did it at home. No, you didn't do it slow. You got to understand what you're playing every for each note. You know what I'm saying? So. And then make sure you practice your form, and no matter, no matter if it's the keys, drums, make sure your form is correct because your form is going to determine how clean your lines and everything come out. So, um, yeah, that's my that's my bit on pretty much like helping y'all out with getting rid of the nerves and everything. So, and it's irritating practicing slow. I'll tell you that <laughs> to this day. <laughs> I want to go home just like, and I can't I can't do that. So it's it's like turn go home. Practice slow, listen to like some slower music, practice it with slower music, practice it with a metronome, practice it, writing it, writing it down, whatever y'all gotta do to to um just become a, a better musician or even a, a better singer as well too. It's just like make sure and it's y'all have an outlet that we didn't have growing up. Y'all got YouTube. Okay. Use it. <laughs> YouTube University. <Yeah. laughs> Use 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 YouTube. That's very important. It's it's a million videos on how to on teaching how to do whatever y'all want to do on YouTube. So, and it's free. We had to pay for lessons. Well, they went to sc they went to high school to the arts. Bradley Tech didn't have a, a school pro. I mean, a, a music program when I went there. So, yeah, make sure y'all practice and use YouTube. All right. Y'all better come on. This metaphor because I'm just I feel like soccer season. Dang, yes. Uh, as far as like the nervousness, I was told like by my like older OGs in the game that you use that as a stepping stone to like push because they say like when you nervous it's part of passion and when you got you know if you ain't got no pat if you're not nervous about it there ain't no passion there and if it ain't no passion there it's nothing so. Use that as a kind of a as a push. I use that as a push. Like I've been playing these drums for like I'm 40, so maybe 37 years now. So I still be nervous. You been playing every drums time. since you were three? Since I was three. Little low. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't really get good until I was probably like 17, 18. That's when I started focusing. You know, 14. You know, I was not on music like that, but as I got on it like that, that's you know was, that was one of my things was the nervous thing, and I I used to ask my OGs like like what do y'all do? And they told me they use that as a stepping stone, is to, cause it, it's gonna push you. When nobody else ain't gonna push you, when you ain't got no support behind you, 
that part there is gonna be your push. It's gonna you gonna push to go, you know, fail or you go pass. So, yeah. Love it. Well, that pretty much took care of the, the remaining questions I was going to ask you all, so I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> now, I want to make sure that we can get another example and glimpse of this wonderful art demonstration that you guys have. If they want to find out more about you all, where you're going to be this summer, where you, they can find out more of your music, where can they follow you guys at? Um, the best place to follow us is Instagram, um, at no seatbelts music, no seatbelts music. Um, you can also find us straight on like Spotify, iTunes, um, yeah. Also, after all of this, make sure you network with us, and then you can get a direct contact. Better trade them numbers how to get there. and socials. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, y'all, give it up one more time for no seatbelts.
Give it up continuously for no seatbelts. Because it's super dope when you got your favorite artists and we know we like our Drakes and we like our Rihanna. But it's really amazing when you have this homegrown talent right here in your front yard. Can I get an amen? amen. All right, right. Give them one more time, guys. <laughs> so now I am going to transition to what is the open mic portion of the Music Lab. And I am so ecstatic to see so many people signed up, y'all. I will when I sit down. So um, I'm actually going to let you guys go ahead and come off the stage and give you some rest so that you sit down. Yeah, give them the hands. They transition. <laughs> so I also want to preface this by saying, uh, even though we have folks that officially like signed up to do things, uh, this is also a jam session, okay, for part of this lab. So if you feel so compelled to get up, that's the reason another why we have no seatbelts, because they can also provide live instrumentation for you, okay? So you're like, hey, I want to try some rap. Da -da 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 you, they can play behind you if you want to do some poetry, or if you want to get up here and do something acapulco. That's okay. We encourage it all. Yes. I was going to say the call off later, but. <laughs> so I want to welcome, to, oh, and also I like to preface this by reminding everybody that this stage is open to everybody, and because of anybody getting up here, they are already an incredible human being. So please be respectful of the folks that are coming up here. Encourage them, make sure that you're letting, letting them feel welcomed as they're here and in this space. So just a little FYI. Let's please give it up for Sphinx the God as he comes up to make his transition. Now, <clears throat> Sphinx the God, if you will, um, I also know him as Demeryl Howard, uh, is actually a very, very a special person to the Music Lab because I met him in 2019 when I first uh, came into this position, and it was his first time coming to Grace Webber's Music Lab. And he gave us a little bit of a demo, a little ditty of what he does with his fantastic beat master skills. And he has been riding with us ever since, including our virtual Music Lab, okay? We also got to feature him uh, during our, co our collaborative Summerfest show with American Family Insurance, uh, which we will be doing again this summer, FYI. Uh, so it's always such a treat to see folks that I know uh, who've been sharing their gifts with us on a regular basis come back and continue to do so. And you're graduating this year, right? Oh, you, gra you graduate today? What? What? Wait, like you have the ceremony? Oh, okay. Woo. <laughs> That's still amazing. Yo, let's give some extra love to Sphinx the God.
Meryl Howard, a.k.a. Sphinx the God. Now, I also forgot to mention uh, that you actually are a part of a really cool music organization here in the city. Is that right? Can you let everybody know what that is? Yeah, I am a part of the Milwaukee Padmasters, which is a um, beat producer team in Milwaukee. So yeah. Now, you shouldn't take that lightly because these people are adults, okay, <laughs> that are in this group. So it's not like, uh, oh, we're just letting these kids come. Like, you have to be really good and skilled at what you do to be a part of this network. So that's a really, really huge accomplishment for you, man. <laughs> so we've had conversations prior. I know that you have like specific uh, aspirations to continue music as you go forth uh, in your things and your journeys. Uh, where can everybody find you at if they want to keep up with what you're going to be having going on post high school? Um, you can find me at Sphinx the God at all socials um, and Spotify, Apple Music, everything I'm on everything so I also happen to know that he has some wonderful music with another young lady at here her name is Trinity Trinity where you at Trinity, there you. Trinity Grace is another one of our music lab <laughs> folks and they have made some incredible art together so make sure you check that out guys please give it up for Sphinx the God I also want to note, like, if you hear anything or heard anything that you like, hey, I might want to put a track to that or some words, like, hit him up, okay? He makes beats. He produces. That's what it's all about, collaborating with folks that you might not get to see on a regular basis, all right? Awesome. I love it. All right, just a quick check, because I want to make sure I'm not skipping over anybody. Is Kamari Matlock here? Okay, just wanted to double check. I hate people be like, I'm here, I'm here. And didn't say anything. All right, let's see. Mia, is Mia here? All right, come on, give it up for Mia. <laughs> oh, you're totally fine. So as we're getting uh, her set up as well, uh, I know that Mia used to be involved in Music Lab as well, pretty periodically. Uh, when she was in high school, and she came to join us and share her immaculate musical gifts. Now, I didn't say your last name because I didn't want to jack it up. Can you please tell everybody what your full name is? My name is Mia Hartunian. There we go. I was going to say Hartnan. That, that wasn't going to be it. All right. And uh, is this on? Hello? There we okay. go. Uh, and what are you going to be sharing with us today? I'm going to be singing Rumor Has It by Adele. Oh. All the rumors are true. All right. Give it up for Mia, guys.
Okay, because here, here's the funny thing, because cause every, if you don't know, Grace Weber, uh, the, the person who this program is named after, is actually a Milwaukee-born Milwaukee musician. Uh, she's out in L.A. right now, uh, but she was like asking me about different folks that were signed up and stuff, and she was like, yeah, there's this girl that used to come to lab, her name is Nia. I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm, I've never actually heard her sing before, but I see it, I, I've had communications with her like in our DMs, so I was like, I'll see if she sings tonight. I, 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 I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. I love these types of moments. Um, <laughs> how long have you been singing? Do you want me to talk in this? Sure. Part? Okay, yeah. I've been singing ever since I was younger. I actually used to do um, theater at First Stage down in Milwaukee. Nice. And so that's kind of like where I started singing, but I didn't really find my voice until last year when I was 16. Wow. So I didn't find my tone. I kind of, because I always stayed in theater, I always stayed in choir, and I didn't use the time to figure out like who I was as an artist and what kind of voice I had, but I kind of figured it out over the past year. So I'm kind of wow, happy about that's that. that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And I, please, like absolutely, because I know you're getting ready to go to college this fall, right? Yes. Man, please stay in touch. And same thing to DeMarrell and anybody, like even, even though it's a teen program, we care very much about your development. We care very much about your gifts and where you're going with them. We want to continue to support them and offer you platforms whenever and however we can, whatever that means through this. So absolutely stay in touch. Where can they find you in more of this immaculate voice? I don't have any music out on Spotify or Apple Music Not yet. Not yet. But it's coming this summer. Um, you can find me at Mia Hartunian on Instagram, TikTok. That's where I am right now. But my artist name is Mia Mari. Um, so that's what you'll see me as when I'm on Spotify and Apple Music. I love it. I love it. And you know what? Even if you don't have like released music, like TikTok is the bomb platform to get stuff like this out there. So I hope you got some more videos of you doing this on there that folks can come and check it out. I definitely do. Amazing. Y'all give it up for me, Hartuni, and y'all. I love 
love moments like that, and I and I love how supportive everybody is, and it just just took me off off my rock. Yeah, I'm living in a circle. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's look. Make sure I'm not missing anyone else. That was Mia. One moment, y'all. I'm reading a spreadsheet on my phone. You gotta, yeah, you gotta bear with me, please. It's the app. It's the it's the uh, the Google app. Let's see. Now I see some Kayla Sledge here. All right. How you doing, Michaela? I'm good. Now, what is it that you are going to be sharing with us that you would like to do? So you're going to need some assistance, some backing, some band. Oh, okay. Oh, snap. You sure you don't want to beat? You don't want the drum to come up here and give you one, too? Okay. Well, uh, where are you joining us from today? You can come sing right here. I'm joining y'all from Riverside High School. <laughs> And I'm also with the Running Rebels. <laughs> they over there. Running Rebels. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'm excited to see. Uh, and go ahead and take it away. Do you want a wired mic or one of these wireless jaws? Like, you just. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> One in the verse, gotta pay me a fee. I step in the booth and you know I'm gonna eat. Stay with a bag, only chasing the green. I stay with a bag and I'm only 15. No competition, I only see me. My wrist be on flood, it swim, no sea. I'm coming back to back, going track for track. Really go rack for rack. Okay, now back to that. Yo, facts is cap, you really ain't got it like that. I got a talent, you people just rapping. I'm coming with bars, no crap, just snapping. Giving out pressure, I come with the pack. Keeping a humble, but name on the map. Compare me and you and it's really a gap ahead of my time, so don't ever lack. K Solo, you know the name. Rather be wealthy than have all the fame. Rather be lonely and stay out the way. Stay on their next and I came in the game. I was on a business, I buy in a chain. I'm different, stay in my lane. My set different, making a change. Move off the field cause you weigh on my range. Hey. Thank you. First of all, that was amazing. I love, first of all, I shoot super shout outs to Running Rebels organization, y'all. Because one of the things that I, absolutely love about y'all is y'all have so much talent <laughs> it is always such a pleasure to see and i know we got uh rb vic that came through here as a feature before like it's just so cool and refreshing to see like all the stuff that y'all got nurturing over there uh what year are you what's your age um i'm 16. okay and so you an incoming junior uh yeah okay so you man uh -huh. now because this is lab and i always like to give people who come up here as professional of an experience as they can. Are you willing to try something? Yes, DC, can you come here for real quick? Can you come up here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you're here, you're here and you, you def and first of all, you, was, you were the one asking the questions about the nerves. I think if you had them, I didn't see them. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. But I also wanted to give you a realistic experience of like, like, can I rock this with a band or can I rock this with any kind of performance setting? Mm -hmm. Cause then that expands your abilities. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I rap, but I, th th I don't care what setting you have. I don't need tracks. Do you have a band? And like, you want to be able to have that experience too. Mm -hmm. So I just want to see if we can get that same groove going. You ain't got to change nothing and just kind of follow along with him. So you can, yeah, so same tempo. I think it was about right here. One of the verse gotta pay me a fee. I step in the booth, you know I'm gonna eat. Let's go. Stay with a bag, only chasing the green. I stay with a bag and I'm only 16. No hey. competition, I only see me. My wrist be on flood, it swim, no sea. I'm coming back to back, going track for track. Really go rack for rack. Okay, hey. now back to that. Your facts is cap, you really ain't got it like that. I got a talent, you people just rapping. I'm coming with bars, no crap, just snapping. Hey. Even our pressure, I come with the pack. Keeping it humble, but name on the map. Compare me and you, and it's really a gap ahead of my time, so don't ever lack. K Solo, you know the name. Rather be wealthy than have all the fame. Rather yeah. be lonely and stay out the way. Stayed on their next I came in the game. I was in the business, I buying a chain. I'm different, stay in my lane. Mindset different, making a change. Move off the field because you weigh on my range. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all give it up for Michaela Sledge.
Do you have any socials that you'd like to share where they can find more of you at? Yeah, I have an Instagram. I go by K Solo, K A Y Y dot S O L O W. And yes. <laughs> nice, nice. Give it up for one more time, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> Now, I just want to remind you all in the audience that this is a jam session, okay? So that means there are no rules, no limits, no boundaries, no seat belts, okay? <laughs> so if you feel compelled to come up here uh, and share anything that you have, then I welcome you. I don't even care if you're not a teenager. How about that? How about that? Even if you're a grown aroni roni you can come up here and share some stuff with us too. <laughs> so just let me know. <laughs> all right, I'm going to keep moving through my list here. Make sure I got everybody. What's up? Uh, you just being on standby. That's it. This is. Make sure that this person is here. Corey Thomas. Is Corey Thomas here? Come on down. Now Corey is joining us from North Division High School. What would? Corey is a junior out here in these Milwaukee streets. And I do believe, based on this sign-up sheet in my hand, Corey's gonna be sharing some piano-ness with us, right? Right? Corey is a professional, so he's going to get the music stand so he can read the music as he plays. I want to take this moment to shout out again, Musical Round in Greenfield. Uh, who lovely enough donated this brand new keyboard and situation to us today for use. So if you come back to Music Lab in September and beyond and you want to get down on the get down with the keys, we will have it here for you. Just keep that in mind. All right, give it up for Corey, everybody.
I'm telling you again. So the reason why I wanted to do piano because I got into it recently. But I am mostly a dancer. So I really? can, so instead of playing a piano, which I failed at, but I'm picking back up again. I'm a, I'm a dance. Yeah. So, so I'm a dance, if that's okay. I think so, yeah. Uh, I think we might have to have no seatbelts give you something to do, some one, two steps too. I mean, that can give me something. Huh? I'm, if that's what you want to do. Feel the vibe. <laughs> They can give me anything. He's going to put the jam in jam session, y'all. Come on now. Let's welcome back No Seatbelts to the stage. And let's give it up on the one more again. Oh, wait. Make sure you're ready. <laughs> now, is there any specific, like, tempo or pace you need? Any song examples you can like your titles you can think of? It's something around this simple. Is that fine? Well, that's good. Yo, yo, can I please give a, a big, incredible, rousing hand for Corey? And let me just say, let me just say, like, I know some people, if you're watching at home, you're like, oh, I thought this was the music. Well, no, but listen, what was he dancing to? And what do you need to feel in order to dance? The beats and the music. So it's all connected. Some of my favorite things is actually watching dancing videos because they can hear parts of the music that you don't hear within an uh, untrained ear. So it's all connected. It's all art and it's all love. Get up for Corey, everybody. That was amazing. We might need a bigger stage next time. <laughs> awesome. Let's see, next up on my list, and make sure I have them in the right order. Oh, well, I was told that this person uh, is willing to perform, uh, and she signed up today. Uh, she sent us uh, a track, so. Actually, I'm gonna save that for, because uh, you have a track, so we won't need the band specifically for that. No, actually, no. Crystal, where's Crystal at? Is Crystal still here? Crystal sings. Chrissy B. Chrissy B. <laughs> oh, sorry. 
I'm sorry, my apologies. Chrissy, Chrissy V. Do you want a microphone? Hi, y'all. Hey, Chrissy. Now, y'all, I met her over a virtual music lab, and she was absolutely amazing. So I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about herself. I am a Milwaukee artist. I mean, I want to go further, so I'm not even going to hold myself to that. So I'm an artist in Milwaukee at the moment, and I plan to be a songwriter in the future, but for now, I got to showcase my lyrics <laughs> so that people know. I released the album in February, and so one of the songs that I'm going to sing for y'all today is literally the first song on the album called Preview, and they got a track to it, but I'm not sure how this going to work. Oh, y'all just gonna play? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go then. <laughs>
for my heart breaking. Woo! Give it up one time. I'm going to ask the church to bring it down for a second. Can you let this, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, know where they can find you? Because she actually has an album, a full album that she just released in February. Her first full-length project, all original music written by her. Where can they find you at on socials and on Apple Music and all of that stuff? It's kind of difficult, all right? <laughs> so most of the things you can find me on will be my artist name, Cryside.B. It's really Chrissy B, but it's spelled weird. So it's like C-R-Y-S-Y <laughs> dot B. I'm going to rebrace the B in the future. But anyway, <laughs> But the rest of the things you can find me on, Christina Sings, which is my weird name once again, C-R-Y-S-T-Y-N-A, and then S-I-G-N-S, Sings. But you can find me on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, anything you listen to music on. I'm on all the random apps and everything. And if you find us at GW Music Lab, I actually have her tagged in a few stories. So you can just go ahead and click on her profile from there. They'll lead you to everything else. <laughs> All right. Give it up for Christy B, y'all. I love it. I like it. It's in my head. I need a preview of me and you before I let you slip away. I need a preview. person that I'm going to bring up was also one of our featured performers during our Summerfest pop-up with American Family Insurance. And I know that we got our full band here, so whatever it is that she's going to do, I know it's going to be supported very well. You guys, please give it up for Lovely Jackson! <laughs> The look of shock on her face, because I don't think I don't think she knew her mom told me she was gonna do that. <laughs> oh, she's here to recruit some musicians because she's putting together an outfit. She gets paid, she is a professional musician, a professional singer, and she is here to look for some folks to join that brigade. I love it, I love it. Hi. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking at you. He's still playing. Look. <laughs> this is my first of having. Sorry. Hi, lovely. Hi. <laughs> um, so can you tell the folks at home that are watching and hear uh, your involvement uh, with Grace Weber's Music Lab and how you kind of got on our radar? Ooh, that was years ago. Um, I think in like 2017, maybe? So our, our inaugural year? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, back in high school in the olden days. <laughs> you know, Girl, that was so like five old years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, oh, Grace is awesome. I've done lots of things with Grace. I've been to many of her labs. I've done summer fest with her. And, yeah, she's really great. I love when she brings me on. I was just about to say, uh, oh, Lovely was also, also featured <laughs> in uh, the Milwaukee Bucks performance with Grace Weber for Women's International History Month, right? Yeah, 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 that was fun, too. I was dope, so nervous. Dope. <laughs> but it was great. So. Hey, well, we've been talking today about nerves and how you can use that for adrenaline. And I know the gift that you have, and you just use that to kind of like push that through. So what are you going to be doing for us today? Well, since Grace isn't here, I thought I'd sing a Grace song. Oh, what song is this? <laughs> Oil and Gold. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know that they know it, but these are uh, fabulous musicians. I hope so they don't know it because... I'm sick right now, so how okay. it sound? At the very that's, least, that's the you're going to get a beat, <laughs> okay? At the very least, you're going to beat. I'll gotcha. let you know that. Perfect. All right, you guys, give it up for Lovely Jackson. <laughs> She's, she has to start the song first. Oh, do you know this song? Oh, look at you. Oh. You did go to Milwaukee High School of the Arts. Look. <laughs> I was in the water now. Who's gonna save the day? He's coming back to New Orleans. He's got hell to raise. Soaking up 
to see. So help us please. Honey, it's not alright. Devils in paradise. Oh no. you at if they want to hear more of lovely voice well i don't really post my singing videos on my instagram but you can but if find they just want to yeah mm-hmm. if they want to just find you period especially if they play instruments and they want to know more about this band you're building yeah yeah it's many underscore things underscore big <laughs> And she's also tagged in these stories, too, at GW Music Lab on our IG. So if you can't remember any of these names of the fine folks you saw today, uh, then you can just come in uh, to our stories and tag and go to their profiles there. Or better yet, find them after this is done, right? Yo, give it up for lovely, everybody. Well, I got to buy a vowel because, oh, my gosh, this has been so awesome. Ooh, that wasn't awesome. Thank you, Good Catch. You have strong musician instincts. I love it. Do we have any final calls for folks who would like to step onto the stage? I see a hand. Yeah, come on. Come on. 
This lovely young lady is another one of our regulars who I'm very fond of. Oh, I want you to check in with Lodi, our sound man, we can see. Otherwise, we are all about the improvisation in this thing, that's right. This has been super awesome, guys. Can y'all can y'all please just give yourselves a hand one time? Now, even though this is the last lab of this season, this is not the last lab in life. So please make sure that you stay tuned when we are doing more things. We are gonna be doing a Summerfest pop-up with American Family Insurance. So we're gonna have a music lab at Summerfest on June 30th at 1 p.m. So please make sure you follow us for more details on that. We always give our free tickets for those too. So if you're worried about that, don't even bother because we got you. And this regular lab season, it runs congruently with the school year. So we'll be back all September through May uh, for the 2022-2023 school year. <laughs> Seems like we're good to go. Now, this young lady is super, super talented. I actually met her in early 2019, in May of that year, uh, when she was one of the features for Music Lab, and I myself included, and I found out that she's not just a singer, but she's also a very, very talented music producer, a musician, she plays piano, she plays guitar, she probably do hair, like she's just super, super amazing. So I'm gonna let her share her gifts with you guys. Please give it up for Trinity Grace. <laughs>
that you've produced yourself? Because she has several projects out her too. Where can they find you to get more of this? Yeah, so again, my name is Trinity Grace. I'm also an artist here in Milwaukee. Yay, woo, Milwaukee musicians. Love hey, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so you can find me on Instagram mainly. Um, it's at official Trinity Grace. And then also Spotify, Apple Music, all that cool stuff, Trinity Grace. I love you guys. Thanks. Yo, the official Trinity Grace on Instagram, right? Yo, can I please have a moment just for all of the incredible talent that has graced this stage today? A part of this Music Lab community, and we welcome you back. And anybody that you know that would also benefit from this, please tell them about the program. We want to make sure we keep building with you guys. Hopefully things stay under control with the Coco and we can keep doing this in-person thing in the fall, right? But even if so, we all you stay following us because we're always going to be bringing this to you one way or another, okay? You can find us at GW Music Lab. Everybody can find out more information about the program on our website, GW Music Lab. Our <coughs> advocate Aurora Health, American Family Insurance, Daniel M. Sorf Charitable Trust, NPS Partnership with the Arts and Humanities, Ralph Evanrude, and of course, 88.9 Radio Milwaukee. <laughs> I mentioned in the beginning that I'm an artist too, so if you want to find me, you can find me at the letter B, the word free, the number two music, okay? And I was all, all the stuff that I do is everywhere, so you ain't never gonna find it far. And I want to just give one more, one more great applause for our incredible Milwaukee's own No Seatbelts. As we're getting set, if you guys, oh wait, hold on. You stay there, we have a raffle. <laughs> I was sitting there getting all excited to end, look. <laughs> look, this is why we're live. All right, thank you. <laughs> the thing that we told y'all about in the beginning, the thing we bombarded you with, we have prizes to give away, ho ho. So every team that came through the door was given an opportunity to submit a raffle ticket for several prizes. And the first thing that I'm gonna be giving away is going to be a Grace Weber's Music Lab t-shirt. And we have a variety of sizes, of medium all the way to 2XL, so doesn't matter. The first prize winner for this evening is Ben LaFort is Ben here. All right. Jada Williams. All right. Congratulations, Jada. So we have all of our t-shirts over at the front desk in you check-in. So you can just wear another one. Who cares? Oh, Mia Hartson. Oh, please, baby, please. I'm so sorry. Please tell me your last name pronunciation again. Cartoon videos. Now, this prize uh, was the big thing that we were giving away. It is a four pack of Summerfest tickets, okay? 889 Ready Milwaukee is a co sponsor of one of the stages there, so we have tickets galore. So I figured, like, why not give some to you guys? Hey, drum roll, that's fine. Or a real one. Oh, God. Oh, wait, Corey Thomas! <laughs> That's my man who was up here with all of this, man, yeah. Congratulations, Corey. Now, Corey, you here with Runner Rebels too, right? So I, I definitely know where to find you, but still stick around. I have one more thing. So during the open, during the virtual labs, um, we had a collaboration with IK Multimedia, who are the people who create the iRigs and all those other important pieces of musical equipment. And they have a microphone that you can hook up um, to have like good sounding quality through your phone. It's called the iMic. Yeah, we had some of these left over. So I was like, why not throw one of these in there too? So if you have a drummer, <laughs> don't sell it. <laughs> no, seriously, guys, a round of applause for all the prize winners one more time. We have prizes for every single music lab, so that's another great fun thing about coming. So if you're a teen and you like the possibility of getting free things, 
please make sure you come and visit us again. You guys have all surveys that you took. If you please can, what we can do going forward, how we can keep serving y'all, and how we can provide this information to our wonderful grant writers and sponsors, okay? My name is Be Free. We're going to let No Seatbelts give us one more piece of this musical pie. Give it up one more time for No Seatbelts. The last song we're going to do is called The One. Is everybody in the frame?